Well, in other news, the man accused of kidnapping and raping a woman inside a vacant house on Detroit's west side appeared in court today facing a laundry list of charges. Yeah, Alex Moore is charged with torture and assault with intent to murder. Germont Terry has discovered the house in which this allegedly occurred is owned by the city. That's right, and he joins us now from Schoolcraft and Schaefer. That's on the west side. Germont, how did this man and others, how were they allowed to stay inside that home? Carmen, that is the million dollar question tonight. Now, the Land Bank Authority gained access to this home at the start of the year. The investigation reveals that Moore and some other men were living in this home for more than a year. So it begs the question, are the Land Bank and the city doing enough to keep these eyesores from becoming downright crime scenes? People versus Alex Myron Moore. Tonight, Alex Moore is behind bars and could spend the rest of his life in prison. It centers around what he's accused of doing inside this house on Schoolcraft and Schaefer. Local four cameras were rolling last week when Detroit police brought out bags of evidence, a long rifle and a samurai sword, weapons the 49-year-old is accused of using after investigators say he kidnapped, beat, tortured and raped a woman in this vacant house. And she was climbing out of that back bedroom window back there. Despite this house being vacant, Brian White claims he lives here and was home when the woman escaped. I got some compassion for her, man. I feel bad for her and her family. White tells me he and Moore have called the city-owned property home for close to a year. And they say we have squatters' rights, don't we? Don't we have squatters' rights? So you acknowledge that you're a squatter, right? Yeah, I'm a squatter. The city confirms the land bank authority owns the house, but the city spokesperson claims police nor the land bank haven't received a single complaint about squatters at this property. You think that you have the rights to stay here? Yes, I do. The victim was able to escape nude from the house when Moore left. That was on Saturday. Here we are four days later and the land bank has yet to come out and board up or kick out the people staying here. Neighbors tell me they fear the city isn't doing enough to keep vacant homes like this one empty and safe. Now, I've been in contact with the city and the land bank authority all day trying to get some answers about this house. And you can see late this afternoon here at 5 o'clock, they finally have someone coming out to try to board things up. And that's some relief to neighbors living in this neighborhood. Reporting live at uh, Schoolcraft and Schaefer, Jermont Terry, Local 4.